Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, the newest SUV from Toyota, the Rush, and a mid-sized SUV from Chevrolet, the Trailblazer. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2018 Maserati Levante GTS and the 2019 Infiniti QX60. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs from Suzuki and Mazda, the Vitara and the CX-3. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held Isuzu 4x4 Extreme Experience in the Queen City of the South as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus. We'll be right back after this short break. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. You. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. What we have this week is one of the most hyped up nameplates this year. A lot of car enthusiasts were on the lookout when Toyota Motor Philippines announced its arrival in the market. And the excitement even went up when it was officially launched. We're talking about the 2018 Toyota Rush. In today's car review, let's find out if it is really worth all the hype. Watch this. In today's car review, we have the G-grade variant of the 2018 Toyota Rush. Let's start off with the engine. Under the hood of the G-Grade is a 1.5 dual VVT gasoline engine that gives out 102 horsepower and 134 newton meters of torque. These generous numbers go along a 4-speed automatic transmission. The suspension setup uses McPherson strut at the front and coil spring at the rear. This layout makes the G-Grade capable of carrying all the weight especially at the back considering its body size of 4,435 by 1,695 by 1,705 millimeters. After the oily parts, it's time to check out the exterior and interior. 
Design-wise, the Rush clearly bears some of the standard styles of the other cars in Toyota's lineup, although the Rush has something about it that makes it stand out on its own. The front fascia comes with LED lights with integrated LED daytime running lights that blend with the grille. This very detail is what makes the Rush look sharp despite its similarity with Toyota's other SUVs. Inside, the Rush gives out that modern and high-end vibe, even though the materials used are mostly plastic. The interior's most prominent color is black, which comes with silver accents and some cream-colored trim. Meanwhile, the cabin also doesn't look much different from Toyota's other SUVs. Moreover, the dashboard is highlighted by a 7-inch touchscreen that can connect to any smartphone via Bluetooth or a USB port. The audio control in the Rush, which is optimized by eight speakers, is attached on the steering wheel so the driver could easily operate it in just one tap. Additionally, to make it easier for the driver to navigate the car, the Rush offers a tilt steering feature to move up the steering wheel position. Moreover, the smart start and stop button, air conditioning double blower, and parking cameras are to the head unit. Since the G-Grade is a seven-seater, three passengers can fit in the middle row, and another two passengers can sit comfortably in the third row. The middle row folds and tumbles and has a 60-40 split. And the third row also has a fold and tumble with a 50-50 split. When it comes to safety and security, the Rush is equipped with Toyota standard features, such as the anti-lock braking system with emergency brake signal, solid vehicle stability control, and six SRS airbags. The Rush may look almost the same as with the other SUVs of Toyota, but it definitely gives away those fresh and brand new feels thanks to its features. Overall, the Toyota Rush is worth the money. That was the Toyota Rush, our featured vehicle on this week's Car Review. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. It's back! Participate in the only public poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Vote for your favorite car makes and models in the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Which models do you think will become this year's Automobile of the Year in the standard and premium luxury class? You choose. You decide. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far.
Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Be part of the 2018 to 2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different car models that you believe should become the 2018 to 2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Who win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. With its successful world premiere in the Beijing Motor Show last year, April 2018, the next generation Lexus ES hits the road in the Philippines. According to Lexus Asia Pacific, the ES, which is known for its comfort, refinement, and luxury, builds on its strengths with an all new 7th generation. The car, which is available in a gas powered ES 350, follows the design trends of today's modern vehicles, resulting in a longer, lower, and wider coupe-like silhouette. Well, our price is four million three hundred eight thousand, and this comes into around eight different colors exterior, and the combination of four different interior colors. So you can choose. We have the newest one, which is the Ice Ecru. This is like beige color, and for the first time for the ES, we have the sunlight green mica metallic. So these are the two new colors. So please come over here in uh, Global City. We're right here at the back of uh, Home Depot just beside at the back also of St. Luke's Hospital. Witness the latest offering from Lexus. We have a test drive unit, so please feel free to come anytime. Continuing, the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines Incorporated, or Compi, brings back the biggest car show in the local automotive industry. The seventh Philippine International Motor Show will be held on October 24 to 28 at the World Trade Center in Pasay City. With this year's theme, Future Mobility, the latest in automotive technology will be showcased by the country's leading car manufacturers and distributors. Expect to see the latest automotive technologies from the following brands. Bike, BMW, Daewoo, Photon, Fuso, Honda, Isuzu, Jaguar, Kia, Land Rover, Mahindra, Mazda, Mercedes-Benz, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Peugeot, Sangyong, Suzuki, Tata Motors, Toyota, and Volkswagen. Meanwhile, 2018 is a milestone year for Isuzu Heart and Smile Project as it celebrated its 10th anniversary last August 18 to 20 in Tacloban City. Graduates of the program returned to their alma mater in Tacloban City along with the key officials of Isuzu Motors Limited, Isuzu's mother company in Japan, Isuzu Philippines Corporation, Tesla and World Vision kicked off the three-day celebration with an outreach program last August 18. And finally, as Volkswagen Philippines recently overhauled its model lineup, the German mark held its Ride and Drive Experience 2018, a Filipiniana-themed lifestyle tour of Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, and Bulacan, showcasing their all-new Santana, La Vida and Teguan from August 20 to 22, 2018. 
The all-new Santana is powered by a 1.4-liter multi-point injection, four-cylinder gasoline engine mated to a five-speed manual transmission, while the Lavida is equipped with a 1.4-liter turbocharged stratified injection four-cylinder gasoline engine with 130 PS of power at 5,000 RPM. The Teguan, on the other hand, highlights a millennial-friendly design having five seats and longer wheelbase, which helps to give it good stability. The said Ride and Drive event was attended by the motoring media, wherein they had a chance to discover the beauty of the provinces of Central Zone. These are just the first cars that we have brought to the Philippines for the Filipino to make German engineering accessible to everyone. There's a lot more coming. We have actually uh, more coming in November of this year where we will be bring, bringing in the automatic version of the Santana. We also will be bringing in the Santana GTS. It is basically an extended hatch of the Santana. And then lastly, we'll be bringing in one of the more luxury accessible vehicles which is called the Lamando for the Filipino which will be around the 1.7 million range basically so I'd like to invite uh, the viewer, viewers of Autofocus to uh, visit our showrooms uh, we have one in BGC, Kes we have in Kesanav, all over the metro we also have in Bacolod, Pampanga, Iloilo, and Cebu just come to our showrooms, check out our website, Volkswagen Philippines, and see how much value, great value these vehicles are. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. It's back. Participate in the only public poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. Vote for your favorite car makes and models in the 2018 to 2019 Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018, and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Which models do you think will become this year's Automobile of the Year in the Standard and Premium Luxury Class? You choose. You decide. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just a click away. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it. The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. You. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits.
be part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. In this week's Head to Head, we have two Japanese small SUVs the Suzuki Vitara and the Mazda CX-3. Aside from the fact that they have the same homeland, we'll find out more about their differences and similarities as we pit them against each other. Watch this. Let's have a peek at the car's engines. The CX-3 is powered by a 2.0-liter Skyactiv G four-cylinder engine that gives out 148 PS of power and 192 newton meters of torque. These figures are coupled with a six-speed automatic transmission that allows the CX-3 to be responsive in both urban or highway settings. Meanwhile, the engine of the Vitara GLX is smaller than of the CX-3s, as it is powered by a 1.6-liter gasoline engine that produces 115 horsepower and 156 newton meters of torque. Like the CX-3, the Vitara GLX is also mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. After checking what's under the hood of these two cars, let's now head to the exteriors. When it comes to design, there is no doubt that it is under Mazda and it follows the brand's Kodo design language. You can tell this right away thanks to a long hood, small overhangs, and tight rear proportions. On the other hand, the Vitara's design is one of its characteristics that sell it in a snap. With its chrome grille that has the big Suzuki U in front, the headlights with daytime running lights, the fascia down low, and the 17-inch alloy wheels, there's no wonder that the exterior of the Vitara is one of its best-selling points. Next up, a quick tour inside. Stepping aside the CX-3, one of the most noticeable factors is the cabin that likewise reflects Mazda's signature design. The steering wheel offers great adjustment, and the controls are easy to navigate. Additionally, the dashboard holds the infotainment screen nicely. And speaking of the infotainment system of the CX-3, the entertainment is courtesy of a 7-inch touchscreen LCD, single DVD player, MP3, which is available in USB, aux, and Bluetooth connectivity, and comes with six speakers and amplifiers. For the Vitara GLX, the interior is made airy and cozy thanks to the retractable fabric ceiling that allows the light in. The most prominent material inside the Vitara GLX is leather from the seats, to the steering wheel and shifter. But the Vitara's interior's crowning glory, just like with the CX-3, is the infotainment system. It is headlined by a 10-inch touchscreen, much bigger than the CX-3s. It allows USB, aux, and Bluetooth connectivity, and is equipped with six speakers, just like the CX-3. Talking about safety and security, these two cars don't come short with the needed features. Both are equipped with their respective company standard features, such as the anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, traction and stability control, parking sensors with camera, as well as hill start assist and hill descent control, and six airbags.
that was our head-to-head -head this week, the Suzuki Vitara and the Mazda CX-3. More about the automobile here in Autofocus, as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2018 Maserati Levante GTS. Let's watch this. Maserati has chosen the 25th Goodwood Festival of Speed for the world premiere of the new Levante GTS. The V8 Maserati of SUV is the sibling version of the top-of-the-line Levante Trofeo, which also makes its European debut at one of the most prestigious automotive events in the world. The Levante GTS Twin Turbo V8 maintains the V90 architecture of the 3.8-liter unit fitted in the flagship Quattroport GTS, but has been re-engineered to work with the Q4 intelligent all-wheel drive system and retuned to deliver 550 HP at 6,250 RPM and 730 NM peak torque between 2,500 and 5,000 RPM. Like all Maserati Patrol engines. This V8 is assembled by Ferrari in Maranello. Thanks to its remarkable weight power ratio of 3.9 kg HP, the Levante GTS takes only 4.2 seconds to reach 100 km per hour, while its top speed is 292 km per hour. Performance figures of a modern supercar disguised in a high end SUV body. The rigid and perfectly balanced Levante chassis has been tuned to effortlessly handle the immense power of the GTS engine, providing a driving experience true to the Gran Turismo pedigree of this new V8 Maserati of SUVs. The Levante's unmistakable design embodied a new level of sportiness in the Trofeo version and the new GTS has adopted a similar styling theme, which focuses on the lower front fascia and the rear bumper, achieving a sporty yet sophisticated look. Alongside the announcement of the V8, the Levante range now showcases new contents, such as the optional adaptive full LED matrix headlights and now standard integrated vehicle control, which is already available on the Ghibli and Quattroport saloons. Rather than simply correcting vehicle instability, the IVC function helps prevent it, providing enhanced active safety, improved driving dynamics and an even more exciting performance. We'll have our special feature segment after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. When thinking of your favorite car brands and models, which brands and models immediately come to mind? Could it be a fuel-efficient sedan for that everyday drive? A sleek and agile sports car? A rugged and versatile SUV? That roomy and comfortable MPV or van? Or that versatile go-anywhere pickup? Be a part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards! Vote for the brands and models that will become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobiles of the Year in the standard and premium luxury classes. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. From the everyday, the new Toyota Rush.
Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Gotta go guys, nagpapasipin si Be part of the 2018 to 2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different car models that you believe should become the 2018 to 2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018. And get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Isuzu Philippines Corporation recently brought its 4x4 event to Cebu City. Dubbed as Isuzu 4x4 Extreme Experience, here's what went down during the fun field weekend. Watch this. and drivers of the iconic BUX and D-MAX brands. The Isuzu 4x4 Extreme Experience now includes not only the chance to view the accessorized versions of these durable light commercial vehicles powered by the new RZ4E engine, but to even test drive the MUX RZ4E 4x2 AT. Uh, who are uh, coming here to experience the thrill of climbing uh, the steep incline on a 4x4 hill. Um, this showcases the, um, the torque, performance, uh, power, and the 4x4 capabilities of our Isuzu D-MAX 4x4 vehicles. Also, uh, we have um, experienced a lot of activities for this uh, 3-day event. We just concluded the um, the cheer dancing competition, we had uh, fuel economy uh, competition, we have car meets, we have uh, display of 4x4 vehicles, we have um, karting for the kids and uh, magicians and a lot of activities.
this is a really a uh, an activity designed for the whole family, for the whole Isuzu family who have come here in Cebu for the first leg of the uh, Isuzu 4x4 experience. So uh, we'll be holding this event not only in Cebu but uh, in the coming months we'll be holding this in Iloilo as well as in Manila and other cities around the Philippines. After Cebu, Isuzu Philippines announced that the Isuzu 4x4 Extreme Experience will go to Iloilo in September. Ilongo's 4x4 enthusiast, better watch out for it. And up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2019 Infiniti QX60. Let's watch this. The award-winning Infiniti QX60 Luxury Crossover, consistently among Infiniti's top two selling models, continues into the 2019 model year as one of the most versatile three-row seven-passenger vehicles on the market today, offering a combination of family features with a welcoming, crafted design inside and out. The 2019 QX60 exterior fully embodies Infinity's dramatic design language, emphasizing the QX60's taut, muscular shapes and flowing lines. The double arch grille is flanked by bison and headlights with LED daytime running lights. LED fog lights are standard, as are LED turn signals incorporated into the side rear-view mirrors. In the rear, a chrome finisher surrounds the standard power lift function hatch. A motion-activated lift gate is available with a sensory package. A power sliding tinted glass moonroof with one-touch open-close tilt feature and sliding sunshade is standard. Also available is a panoramic moonroof with power rear sunshade, which provides a light, airy environment for rear passengers. The front and rear faces include optional flush-mounted sonar sensors adding to the QX60's premium appearance. Other QX60 exterior features include the double wave hood, crescent cut D-pillar, and greenhouse design, automatic on and off headlights, and large LED tail lights. High beam assist is included with the Pro Assist package. The 2019 Infiniti QX60 standard 3.9-liter V6 engine is rated at 295 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. The engine's direct injection gasoline system, which is also utilized on the exciting Q60 Sports Coupe's 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6, as well as the powerful QX80 full-size SUV's 5.6-liter V8, provides better wide-open throttle performance and emissions performance. When thinking of your favorite car brands and models, which brands and models immediately come to mind? Could it be a fuel-efficient sedan for that everyday drive? A sleek and agile sports car? A rugged and versatile SUV? That roomy and comfortable MPV or van? Or that versatile go-anywhere pickup? Be a part of the 2018 to 2019 Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Vote for the brands and models that will become the 2018 to 2019 Auto Focus Automobiles of the Year in the Standard and Premium Luxury Class. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph to vote every day until September 30, 2018. And get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Auto Focus People's Choice Awards. Who we'll win? You choose. You decide. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Be comfortable when you're
venture out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. from the everyday, the new Toyota Rush. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it. The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Gotta go, guys. Be part of the 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2018. Then, vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2018-2019 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2018 and get a chance to win prizes in the daily raffle. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose. You decide. Vote now. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. On our second car review this week, we feature a mid-size SUV that is undoubtedly fit for bigger and more thrilling family adventures, the Chevrolet Trailblazer. The new Chevrolet Trailblazer is equipped with 2.8L Duramax diesel engine that produces 200 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, giving the car the ability to speed through every journey. The Trailblazer also takes pride in its signature soft ride suspension that guarantees a smooth drive and a calming ride for the driver and passengers. Moreover, the Trailblazer's design doesn't fall short in showcasing a family-friendly yet tough appearance. Its front fascia carries the brand's new signature dual-port grille, which is matched with its iconic bowtie badge and LED daytime running lights, framing the activating headlamps. Also, the 18-inch gunmetal wheels enhance the Trailblazer's sturdy good looks. Climbing inside, one thing that's easily noticeable is the sleek dashboard that ensures controls and systems are always within reach and within your sights. Additionally, the Trailblazer has a fully customized spacious interior that can sit up to seven passengers. Meanwhile, there's also no need to worry about the infotainment system. 
The Trailblazer is equipped with a Chevrolet MyLink infotainment system that is a wide 8-inch touchscreen and is smartphone compatible so passengers can connect via Bluetooth. One more thing, the Trailblazer doesn't compromise safety and security. It comes with an impressive array of active driving aids which include forward collision alert, lane departure warning, front and rear park assist with reverse camera. Moreover, the ability to start the engine and control power windows remotely is no doubt useful in cooling down the cabin during hot days. A combination of great outdoors and a mid-sized SUV that tests what it takes to carry families through tough and exciting adventures for sure leaves every family member a memorable experience. If you're looking for a car to treat your family to a quality time, then the Chevrolet Trailblazer is the best fit. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.